Hello there. Welcome to the Vermander Curse. Should I turn my... Nah, I'm gonna leave my cursor off on the uh, OBS. Why is the move shift to run control a uh, space to close my eyes? Why would I want to close my eyes? What? But why? Oh. Wait, what? Oh, I forgot to plug this in. Plug it. I was wondering why the audio was weird. <laughs> I forgot to plug the headphones on. <laughs> Anyways, um, you, you wanted to see me, Mr. Vermander, sir? Hannah, why aren't this month's profits as high as last month's? I've been looking over that piece of paper you gave me earlier. And I don't like all the numbers on it. I care to make heads or tails out of that dang thing. They raised the threshold on how much you need to donate in order to get your tax deduction, remember, sir? They did what? When was this? Sir, I've been reminding you about this for the last eight months. But it's actually fine, though. You still end up saving uh, way more money than if you didn't get the deduction, so... With, with the good lord as my witness, I am being swindled! I will not stand for this! No one gets over a J.P. Vermanda! No, sir! Or ma'am in this case. Not now, and not ever! But, sir... Now then. Where have I been donating all my hard-earned money to again? A hospital, sir. Hospital. Which one? There's only one in town, sir. The only hospital in this forsaken backwater town. And they still have the nerve to swindle me out of my money. If you're not doing the donations, then who is? <laughs> hmm. Well, I know exactly how to handle a situation like this. Uh, it's called getting over it. Have you heard about that? Prepare the ritual, Hada. And go fetch me my robes. The ritual? But Mr. Vermander, sir, please! This is entirely uncalled for. The people in the hospital have done nothing to you, sir. Besides, the difference in profits between this month and last month is only about 1% less, sir. That's nice and all, Hera. But I don't remember asking. Ah, oh, that annoying state question. Whatever, shut. Now go! You don't have time to... We don't have time to waste! Notify me immediately when everything is ready. <laughs> okay, sir. He looks weird. Because, yeah. Oh, he blinked. He's a blinker. Hello? Hello! Anyone home? I hear ya! I hear ya! Give a gal a minute! At least I'm assuming that's the person we- Oh, no, it's not. It's some random person. Uh. Yeah! Ah, hello there! 
Dr. Edda, I presume. That's me. Who's asking? Fantastic. I am Morton, the nurse whose transfer request you received. Was it accepted? <laughs> transfer request? What in the world are you talking about? You aren't aware? Surely you read an email concerning me. I don't get no regular internet out here, sonny boy. The only thing we can get out of here is that old satellite connection. And we ain't got that either. But if you're here to help, then I ain't about to complain. You got a lot to learn, so you better pay attention, because I'm all the same as once. I'm all ears, Doctor. My patient's coming. I write the information down on this here clipboard. See, patient name, Lang Boyd, reason, severe back in it. Oh gosh, I have to do a lot of this? Oh. Wouldn't it be better to use a computer instead? No. <laughs> oh, waiting room is over here. Ain't much to say about it. All the magazines are older than I am. And ain't none of them worth reading no more. Oh. My. Your what? We got eight rooms. Three are occupied. And the rest eight. Mr. Lang Boyd is over in room 7A. Uh, broken back, right? I, I think I seen that. He had a pretty bad back energy in injury, but we fixed him right up. Miss Tammy Giles is in room 5A. She needed one of them deep hole, and we ain't got many options for her. Anesthetic. <laughs> So I gave her some of that old-fashioned medicine I keep under the sink. She'll be a little dizzy for a while, but everything else went smooth as silk. Impressive! There's a woman over 2A2. Poor thing cut her hand up real bad on her job. Then try to hide it. Her boss found out and sent her here. Oh, I think it's gonna be the one, uh, the Vermander's maid, I think. I ain't managed to figure out her name. So I wrote her down as Jane Doe and patch her up. Ah, a mystery! I wonder who she is. I already know who she is. So jokes. We ain't known to ask too many questions around here. Mr. Morton, we are here to help. Got it? Understood, Doctor. We got two bathrooms, an operating room, and something like a kitchen. There's a kitchen in the hospital? I didn't really know that. Well, I, I guess there would be. Oh, excellent. The lights in here don't work half the time. We keep our medicine supply in our ore. But most of the bottles are empty because the budget ain't banged with film. And there ain't nothing in, ever in the fridge. So don't even bother checking. Oh. Does he think this hospital function as intended? Not really. What about the doors? Do the doors work as intended? And that's about it. Let's head down back to the front desk so we can get you a side in and start your first shift. <laughs> that old sign in sheet is somewhere over there. I suggest you go find and start searching for it yourself, because I ain't about to come look for it. Why not? You you should know where it is, don't, don't you? I just said, Doctor. I'll find it. In the meanwhile, I better go make my rounds and check on the patients. Come and get me if you need something. Hand injury, alright, so 7A, 5A, 2A.
Everything all right in here? I'm fine, Doc. Matter of fact, I feel like I could walk out of here right now. <laughs> See, he can't even laugh without it hurting him. This is exactly why I said, Leg, baby, please stay off the roof. It's dangerous. We can pay someone else to clean the gutters. Did, but did he listen? No. He waited until I left for work and then tried to get up there himself. One little gust of wind, and the next thing you know, BAM! Straight into the hedges. You know, I could have done it if the wind hadn't picked up. But that, that's not the point. You should have been up there in the first place. Doctor, can you please give this man something to fix his terminal lack of common sense, please? Sorry, honey, but we ain't got nothing to fix that. Now, you two try to take it easy, alright? I'll be back later on. 1.30 p.m. See you later. I will say, there's a definitely an improvement of getting more characters. Except, there's a lot of people that seem to take the same template. How you feeling, dear? Hey, Doctor Edda! What are you doing here? Still ain't sobered up yet, huh? No. It's fine, dear. At least I do think gonna bother you no more. Just give some time and try to get some rest, okay? Okay. <sighs> Alright. It was 2 8, right? Oh. They really did that trick to make me think it was that one maid. How you doing, dear? Unless she got transformed to an octopus. Oh, okay. It is fine, no? We ain't got nothing to worry about. It will grow back good as new. God. Thank you. You are most welcome, dear. Try to get some rest. I'll check back in later. Yes, yes. Alright, that's everyone. I better go back to Mr. Morton. Dr. Edda! The phone started ringing while you were gone, so I answered it. And? The color won't stop going on and on about rituals and demons. Among other things that I don't understand. I, I think that it may be best if you talk to her. <sighs> There's always something. Like, gotta let me walk to the phone? Such a scam! Honey, honey, slow down. Ain't none of this making sense. Please, you have to get out of there right now! My boss is summoning an actual jet with them and now you're all in danger! Huh, huh. And who do you work for again? J.P. Fermander, ma'am. Who is that, Doctor? He's some rich city bo boy who moved out here when he inherited his family's estate. A lot of folks around here have to pay him rent just because his family owns the land. Makes sense. Yes, that's him exactly. I don't know all the deep. I don't know if that was her voice I chose for her. I don't know all the details that there's a blood pact and a diamond and a curse and all kinds of other stuff. You need to leave now. Once the clock strikes 10, you won't be able to leave. Honey, that's less than two minutes. Ain't no way we're getting everyone out of here that fast. My goodness, I didn't expect the stakes to be this high on my first night. How do you know she's serious, bro? But I'm committed at this point. Is there anything we can do to help our situation? I did go snoopy to a few old turtles kept by the Vermanders. That's what I read. If you can make it to sunrise, the demon will leave. But it's a bunch of rules you need to follow in order to keep yourself safe. Oh, we're gonna get something similar to, um... Something similar to... The man from the window? For example, every hour till sunrise, the demon will enter the place it was summoned to. It will travel down the nearest hallway in search of blood. Specifically, but <laughs> its own rules prevent it from opening doors to search for you. So keep these closed. What room are you both in right now? The reception. 
I'm forgetting voices. Uh, the reception area. You will need to keep that in mind, alright? When the demon arrives, make sure you're all in the same room as when the ritual started. If someone isn't, the demon will know. And once it knows where someone is, close the doors once it's open. If you're ready, I can tell you what to expect once set o'clock hits. I ain't about to let no demon run it. Rock shot over my house of healing. I can't remember the name. Uh, boy, uh. Just tell us what we need to do, honey. Okay, here's what's gonna happen first. The demon places a lot of emphasis on windows for some reason, right? I try to use his powers to open up windows around itself. You're gonna need, I cannot stress this enough, you're gonna need to close any and all windows before the hour is up. Leave one open, the demon gets stronger. And you don't want that, alright? If you finish with everything you need to do for the hours up, just try staring at the clock. I'm sure it will help pass the extra time faster. I'll stay on the line just in case you need to repeat. Good luck, please be careful. Doctor, are things usually this hectic around here? Not really. We usually got, ain't got no more than about one here once. But we got a free here today. That's not really what I meant. I tired on work. Sleep for a minute, then hand cut. You fell asleep at work and that's how they ain't got like that? Yes. Oh, you poor thing. Who's gonna get some rest with you, right? Should I be? That's all the windows I see. So many fat characters. <laughs> Okay, so all I need to do is make sure the windows are closed. The time was 11. That's unfortunate. I thought there was like some sort of puzzle thing. The doctor hasn't returned yet. Oh no. This is a good ma'am. I can't handle this on my own. Try to stay calm, alright? Please? You're not alone. I'm still here with you. You can do it. Just stay calm. And I'll guide you through the rest, okay? The devil will try to draw power from any lights they can get access to, right? You know, you'll know it's inside a room. Try to decide the power where the lights are flickering. When it happens, all you need to do is enter the room, close the door, and shut your eyes for a few seconds. You're really going to need just a space inside your mind to focus for this work. You will know it works with the lights off flickering. And make sure you do it right, okay? If you don't, then... This is the waiting area. Strange things are happy tonight. I need to get back to your room, please. Uh, my bad. I'll go back now.
supposed to close the door. Uh, it seems a bit unclear. Is there like multiple... Jane Down had done all she could to hide her injury from others. Her reason was driven by the knowledge that even a impossible visit could result in her nervous eager family and put her this fear was lit by entirely different means. Uh, what was that noise? Please, please tell me you didn't forget something. You can't let this feed do any more damage than it already has. So please try to focus, listen to this. You know what's gonna happen this time? There's something about the demons power to return to TV signals, right? Or turn on any TV computer to get access to. Never show anything besides static once it takes control. But that's so bad. If it happens, just turn the TV off. Don't kick it for a while. But don't leave TVs on. Uh, on. Alright? It won't end well. I didn't think I still needed to do the window thing, if I'm gonna be honest with you. I have flickering, that doesn't mean it has to be turned off. I don't think I see an open window yet. Just follow you won't go doing something that is reckless. Or As of tonight, I'm officially staying far, far away from the Wooze Labs. Also, get some extra money fight. Bling! I'm kidding, don't look at that. Hey, some 
lady in the mirror looking at me. I believe that's you, ma'am. Strange things are happening tonight, and I need to get back to your room, please. Uh, my bad. I'll go back now. Oh, let's see if we can get a uh, deathless one. The time was 1 a.m. All the windows have been closed. Television's been turned off. No lights flickering. So is there a way to save Jane Doe? Here's what's going to happen next. You'll be surprised how much the inputs power drives are with electronics. You gain access to the phone lines and try to get power too. If you notice the phone continues to be ringing, and that's exactly what I try to do, alright? Now this is going to sound crazy, but you need to pick up the phone and listen. Pay attention, because this part's important. If you hear anything, and I mean anything, on the other end, you gotta recite this mantra. Your presence is not welcome here. You must depart immediately. Don't worry, you'll be able to talk to them. But the results that are in on the phone, they keep quiet. So that means it hasn't proper figured out the phone's location yet. And you don't want to give any clues, alright? Hello? Ma'am, this is the waiting area. Strange things happen tonight. I need to get back to your place. Yeah, my bad. I'll go back there. Probably could have almost got all four. There's at least one television somewhere. Now it's possible that was the only one. Well, man, I think my head's finally started to clear. So words wondrous, I'm telling you. I had the tea pool and didn't feel things. My back started to hurt again. Guess that medicine I really wore off or something. By this point, the pig beds given to Mr. Lake Boy earlier today started to wear off. So, despite the wise decisions they put, he went to inquire about it, and then it arrived. On the day of his visit, the Accident. Lang Boy's mind was not on a potential consequence of his best act. Far from it, in fact. His mind was instead on how happy his wife and children would be after he cooked their favorite dinner. 
A dinner that he could not afford to make, unless he used the money he'd save by cleaning the gutters himself. The grand, the grandest attentions of our untouchably doomed retired family. Uh, what was that noise? Please, please tell me you didn't forget something. I like this video more damage than it already has. So please, try to focus. Listen to this. It's all about a feat that this demon's gonna try. For literacy candles, it has the power to manifest them inside this area of food. It's vital and very important that if you see what you see. If you look at burning, then you will be able to draw power from it. It won't try anything new after it gets to this part, so you don't have to worry about any more new rules. Oh, and I almost forgot something. This part's important too. Whatever you do, make sure you don't. Till what, 6 a.m.? That might have been the time. I feel like those areas are never gonna get the thing. It's hard to click the candles.
Now he does have more power though. Oh, the sub began to rise. Then we're gonna stay the world of talker or do However Investigation to the free to the spirits that happened that I was lodged. An investigation that was comprised by Vermander's influence. Despite the innocence and the lack of evidence, Nurse N Morton was charged and convicted in connection with the disappearances. Of him being behind bars, his daughter suddenly had to grow up without her father. She was now alone and completely a familiar town, all through no fault of her own. The only other person who knew the truth left was Hannah. But soon she too hastily disappeared. And upon searching her home, the only thing was found was a strange the only thing found was a strange lit candle in the inn. JP Vermeta got to keep his extra one percent, and that's all that mattered. I have to play that again and figure out how to save the people or something. Right, because there is different Endings, isn't there? <laughs> 